All right, y'all, come here. Listen, listen, listen to me close. Before we get to the video, I just need y'all to do me one favor. One favor, bro. I need y'all to go follow this channel. What you see on the screen is my official podcast channel. Yes, I'm doing a podcast. Everybody does a podcast. I don't care. I want to do one. Me and my buddy Shamel, we decided, hey, we got some shit we want to talk about. So let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We'll hopefully get to the space where we can post once a week. But for now, just go check out the page. Drop a sub. It's going to be called the S&D Podcast. We'll have audio on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, definitely on YouTube, probably SoundCloud. I don't know. We'll have that junk everywhere. You'll be able to listen to it. Listen to it when you wake up and go and go and go and go and go brush your teeth and all that. You know what I'm saying? Get your coffee. You know what I mean? Just go subscribe. Follow the Twitter. The Twitter's right here at podcast underscore s and d go shoot it a follow just tell everybody i greatly appreciate it we'd really appreciate it but let's get into the video do y'all see what i'm loading up of of course all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel is visual hold on hold on actually you what's good ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel that's my intro now i don't care at least for now but welcome back to my channel is visual today i am playing call of duty vanguard why are you playing Visual, why are you? I don't know. Do you see this weapon? The H4 Blixen. This junk is so OP in Warzone and I really want to unlock it, but I don't have it unlocked. So today's video is going to be dedicated to that. The unlock challenge says get three slide kills in a single match 15 times. I'm not good at math. What is that? 15 times three is 45. So is that 45 kills? 15 games, 45 kills, something like that. I don't know. We'll see. But nonetheless, that's going to be the goal for this video. I really don't know what to play. The last time I played this game was probably like a month ago. And I only play it when I want to unlock another weapon for Warzone. So we'll see. I don't know. I'll just cut to the gameplay, find us a match, and then let's chat for a little bit. I'll see you in there. I figured it was only right to hop into that ship hoss playlist. Dos Hoss and Shipment, in and out real quick. Real smooth. But while I game, like I said in this intro, I have a podcast that I'm working on. I really, really want to get it off the ground. So if you're watching this, please just go follow. Hit the sub button, tell your friends. Me and Mommy Chamel, we literally just talk about music. I don't know, anything that's popping in the culture for real. We're not limited. And we're probably gonna try to shoot for about once a week down the line. I don't really know how that's gonna happen, but. Nice little triple, get off of me, boo. Get off of me, boo. Are they behind me? They are. Ah, run! Nice, I'm out of there, I want the scenery. The other day, I definitely tried to play Plutonium. Uh, for those who don't know what Plutonium is, it is a client where you can play old Call of Duty games. They have Modern Warfare 3. I don't think they have Modern Warfare 2. They might, I don't know. But they have Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2. You just run it natively on your PC. Like, super high graphics and everything. It's fire. Tried to play it, couldn't find a single server on Black Ops 1, and I was depressed, let me tell you. But... Let me know if y'all like the cutcom videos. I know I have the Plague's Tale, but, you know, I kind of like switching it up back to my roots. I've been playing competitive Call of Duty since, what, I was like 14? Black Ops 3? Advanced Warfare, for real. Oop. He let him go right back. Him. Games are so dry right now, though, y'all. Like, I promise you, if you have a game that you think I should play, just leave it in the comments. There's not much that I would, you know, not consider. Just need something to break up the monotony. I'm thinking about trying the Wolf Among Us. For those who don't know, that's a Telltale game, which is like a decision-based game. And it's a pretty old one, but they're coming out with a part two sometime soon. If not this year, maybe next year. And... I need to get caught up because people say nothing but good things about that series. How are you behind me though? Oh, well, that's game. Oh, we won, nice. What are we looking like, 32 and 21? This dude went 29 and nine. Good stuff, smile for my RPG. Play the game, talk to me. Come on, Snoop. Through the mask, ugh. Must be that loud pack, that tabby pack. What'd I do? Oh my God, he's average. Oh, so another thing about the podcast before I load into another game. If you guys want to be a part of the podcast, make sure you reach out to me on Twitter at Real Visual or follow the, the Twitter page at podcast underscore SND. 
maybe down the line we can do like discord calls so if you want to be a part of the conversation maybe we'll call you in and be a part of the show or something i think that'd be kind of sweet okay we got shipment this should be pretty easy i didn't check how many slide kills i got that last game but it's all good ain't no problem how does he have seven kills already How are y'all feeling about Modern Warfare 2? I see a lot of people have mixed reviews towards, you know, whether or not they want to get the game, whether or not it's going to be good. Listen, Call of Duty's on a two-year cycle now, and I feel like that's exactly what they needed to get back to form, I guess if that's what you want to call it. Oh my gosh, they have dogs, no bueno. We still somehow won. What did I do that game? 35 and 21? All I do is just run out and die. Uh, I care nothing about my KD, man. I'm just trying to play, I'm just trying to game. Just a gamer trying to game, that's all it is. You know, people could argue that Vanguard fell in like multiple ways but i think they simply fell for making it a world war ii game we've had way too many world war ii games in the past like why try to do it again which brings me back to my point about i think these developers are just burnt out with these cycles that they were on as of late i think all the studios would somewhat work in tandem trying to make these games every yeah. single year and they probably started making this game like when the covid was at its height especially like quarantine or right outside the quarantine so i don't know i think this two-year span for modern warfare 2 is really just gonna calm everything down and just allow for more meaningful content, more quality content, instead of just having a bunch of updates that mean absolutely nothing. That's my thoughts. I don't know what y'all think. Nobody wants to come out. Ah, I ran out of ammo. I don't know, I'm staying alive. Guns are fun. Very good at this. <laughs> Sheesh. I don't even know what streak that is. This game is so hectic. I will say, as somebody that used to compete, it is very like relaxing to just hop on and shoot your gun. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all feel me on this, but I think competitive gaming killed gaming in general. Like competitive gaming made games try to feel more realistic. You just can't sit back and have fun with them no more. And because of that, like, I don't know, everybody just, just can't have fun. This game might be a bust. There's probably no way we're gonna win this. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I'm running away. That grenade rolled around the corner.
y'all, I was at the park one day, and this dude came up to me. Short dude, I don't know. He, he must have been in like high school or whatever. But he was like, yeah, you know, I'm a Warzone Reaper. I looked at him like, Oh, so you play Call of Duty, okay. Yeah, I'll smoke you. He was like, nah, there ain't no way. I was like, buddy, you must not know me. And then he started talking like I was older or whatever, so I can't be good at the game. I was like, dude, do you not know? I've been putting kids like you in Pampers since you was in Pampers. Like, what are we talking? As I just got put in Pampers, but it's all good. This might be winnable. We might can bring this back. Oh my god. Good spawn. Great spawn, actually. I just see Snoop Dogg decapitated. Holy life. Is that allowed on YouTube? Honestly, Snoop Dogg in this game was so much better in Ghost when he was like the commentator. Oh, wow. There were so many people there. Holy shit. This way. Oh my gosh, this gun is terrible. Hey, uh, oh no, I'm not gonna get a hundred. Damn, I choked a hundred. Oh good, I think I still got it though, low key. All right, y'all, that was just a quick video. I wanted to update you guys on what I got going on. Like I said at the beginning of the game, I have a podcast coming. The S&D Podcast, me and my boy Shamel. He doesn't really like his stuff being put out there like that, but that's my guy, y'all gonna see him. We coming up, you know, we doing things, we doing big things. Be a part of this hustle that's going on early because I swear I'm gonna turn up. I promise you I'm gonna turn up. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But yeah, if you like the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, tell your friends, and tell them to tell some more friends because I really want this stuff to work out. You know, I'm early to this, but I'm gonna try to continue to stay consistent. I appreciate everybody that's watched the video. I swear, I see like 10 views and I just, I don't know, I get gas. So like, I appreciate y'all for watching. Appreciate you guys for sharing, for subscribing, for all that great. I don't know. I, I've said this stuff before, man. Go follow the podcast. Go follow me. Go follow everybody, man. We all love each other. And with that being said, it's your boy Visual, and I'm out. I will see y'all in the next video.